Hey, I'm Hayes with Shelter Designs, and today we're going to talk about the hold down attachments of the fabric to the platform. You know, you always hear everybody talk about how strong yurts are, and they are incredibly strong. They can handle really high winds. Now, we know from a, our, our engineering analysis of this 30 foot yurt right here, in a 90 mile an hour wind, this is going to have over 7,000 pounds of uplift force being created pulling on this roof system. So, how does the fabric stay attached in that case? Well, Inside of this, this is called the valence right here, and this is what makes sure that water is all shed properly from your coming down your roof onto your wall. Now behind this, we've got an inner valence, and you can kind of see it right here. Now it's got grommets strategically spaced around it, and so our wall is actually laced to this inner valence and is hanging off of the roof. Very strong connection point. It's basically daisy chained around the yurt from one hard opening to a next. Um, and then this covers it up. There's your trim detail. You don't see that inner valence. This rope right here actually sucks the valence tight to the wall to make sure you're not getting a lot of drafts coming in underneath there. So then obviously this transfers down our wall. We'll come down here and look at the bottom of how it's actually attached to the platform. So our wall system comes down and standard on any shelter designs yurt, you're going to have grommets spaced every 12 inches around the bottom of the wall all the way around the perimeter. Part of your hardware package is you get these screws with rubber washers on them and the wall screws to the bender board. That's the physical hold down attachment to keep this wall and the roof system from pulling up in a high wind situation. Now one exclusive feature you're going to find only at Shelter Designs is what we call our bottom hook and loop connection. Think Velcro. Um, you hear this? So in between the grommets all the way, continuous, all the way around the yurt, what we do is we sew a small strip of the loop aspect of hook and loop onto the back. When you go to tension your walls, you pull this down, you make a light mark on your bender board where the bottom of your wall is going to go, you flip it up out of the way, and then according to that pencil line, we provide you with a two inch roll of adhesive backed hook material. You attach that to the bender board, you flip this back down, you make a tight seal all the way around. There's not going to be any drafts, any bugs getting in your yurt. All right, over the years as we experimented with different design options for how to actually attach your fabric to the bender board, we tried a lot of different things. We tried wrapping the fabric underneath the bender board, created wear points that over time didn't work out very well. Um, just having the screws is a good detachment point, but we feel that the combination of the hook and loop with the screws creates the strongest possible bond of your yurt fabric to your platform available today. So we jumped inside this 30 foot shelter designs yurt looking at the frame attachment to the platform. We just looked at how the fabric is held down uh, under wind situations. Now we're going to look at the whole uh, wooden frame attachment. So obviously you've got your lattice wall here um, that is full height, seven foot two standard. It, uh, wall height. Now it comes down and right here, this board is painted, nice color that matches the interior liner. This is what we call the bender board. Um, this bender board needs to stick up six inches above your finished floor height. This wraps the entire way around the yurt. Uh, and before your frame is up, that needs to be on. So you spread your lattice walls out and it butts up against the bender board. Obviously can't fall off the platform at that point. Now when we're assembling your lattice wall in the shop, we intentionally leave out every other rivet at the bottom of the wall. And when you have your wall spread to the proper spacing to get the right height, you use these holes that are drilled in the lattice as a pilot. You drill through the bender board and then bolt the frame to the bender board approximately every 22 inches on center. Super strong connection here. Um, that is the main hold down for the yurt frame. Now, uh, this particular yurt also has a snow and wind reinforcement kit, which is these perimeter two by fours, not necessary. What, I mean, we look at the engineering for every specific yurt situation. In this case, it needed it. And so these two by fours go directly straight up plumb and attach to the roof rafters, helping deflect that point load under extreme snow conditions and reinforce the wall from flexing under extreme wind conditions. So between the outside connections of your bottom hook and loop, screws every 12 inches around the bottom, the wall to roof lacing system, uh, your fabric's held down really well, your frame, your lattice is attached every 22 inches around the bottom, 
securely anchored with a through bolt, some reinforcement necessary on some yurts with a snow and wind kit. Very strong in extreme snow and wind situations. It's not going anywhere. Yep, that's strong. <laughs>